Hi everyone, today let's cover the Fidelity Youth Account. It has been a while since I've made a video. On this channel, I like to cover different ways to make money on your phone, creating passive income sources, making good sound investments, and some helpful tips here and there. So if you like this type of content, then hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification so you get notified when I make videos in the future. Introducing the Fidelity Youth Account, an account where teens, 13 to 17, can learn to spend, save, and invest. Your teen will get a free debit card with no account fees or minimums. This is what I was hoping Chase first would do, as I covered them a few months back. Getting kids in the mindset to invest and not only work for money their whole life will put them leaps and bounds ahead of everyone else. As it says, get them ready for spending, saving, investing life. A first of its kind, a brokerage account owned by teens 13 to 17 that's built to start their investing journey. They can trade most US stocks, ETFs, and Fidelity mutual funds in their own account. No subscription fees, no account fees, no minimum balances, no domestic ATM fees. Dedicated Youth Learning Center with materials developed specifically to help teens develop good financial habits. Now let's go over ongoing parental oversight. The parent or guardian does need to have a Fidelity brokerage account in order for their teens to be eligible for this account. Parents and guardians who currently have a Fidelity account can open this account with their 13 to 17 year old. At age 18, your teen account will be transferred to a retail brokerage account for free. Parents can monitor account activity and through monthly statements, trading commissions, trading confirmations, and by viewing debit card transactions. You can also set up alerts to notify you of trades, transactions, and cash management activity. So what is this youth account feature? Spend. Teens can make purchases and cash withdrawals with their free debit card or using payment apps like PayPal or Venmo. And you can view their transactions when you need to. They can manage their cash and access it whenever they need to without paying account fees or worrying about minimums. And for investing, they can buy most U.S. stocks, ETFs, Fidelity Mutual Funds, and with fractional shares, they can invest starting with as little as $1. Fractional shares give you the option to buy a portion of a stock. So if that stock is $3,000 per share, most teens don't have $3,000 to put into that stock. So they can buy part of a share. And with the Learning Center, a lifetime of smart money decisions can start now. We've created a library of jargon-free, 101 level educational content that explains complicated financial concepts in simple ways that anyone can understand available in the app for youth accounts. Talking to your kids about money. It's not always easy to talk about money, even with family. So we've created a series of articles that can help facilitate money conversations with kids. And this is important as many parents do not know much about investing. So you can learn alongside with your child and help you both out. So how does it work? First, if you don't have a Fidelity account, open one up as the parent. That will allow your child to open a youth account. Download the app, and fund it. And down at the bottom of this page, you will have frequently asked questions where you can turn to with other questions that aren't answered in this video. I will have this page linked in the description below. And I already know what many of you are going to say. This is risky. Having kids investing so young is a big risk. Well, it doesn't matter whether they start investing at 13 years old, 15 years old, 17 years old, 20 years old, or when they're well into their adult life. It's been stated many times, time in the market is better than timing the market. So the earlier your child learns to invest and gets many of those mistakes out of the way with less money than making those same mistakes with more money later in life and not having the time to recoup those mistakes could be a big problem. So even if you as the parent do not have a strong financial and investing background, giving your children that option to figure this out for themselves can very well give them a huge head start in life that most children do not have. And I do like that it can be monitored by the parent. So you can control what your child is doing and making sure they're not going overboard and making too many risky plays in the market. And another point, I can only speak for myself, but having your own currency on the line makes you study a little more and understand what is going on with your investments. As a lot of these other sites and brokerages will let children paper trade, which isn't real money, you're trading in and out of stocks, but you're not seeing anything for that. With this, it can help those children, knowing that their own money is on the line, take a little more care with their investments. So I always put a little bit into something I want to learn about, which forces me to study it a little harder and see if this is something I really want to put more money in, keep what I have in, or take that initial investment out. So by giving teens the option to put their own funds into the market will hopefully incentivize them to do their own research, learn about their investments, understand how the markets work, 
understand how money really works, which will get them so far ahead in life. As if you continue to trade your time for dollars your whole life, you will likely not get ahead. Having side gigs or passive income while you are still working your W-2 job is what is going to get you ahead. And who knows, this can lead them down the line of opening their own business, investing in real estate, or many other things which they have the option to value their own time and not let somebody else put a dollar sign on it. And realistically, when you have a savings, you have options some others don't. So if you are a parent or guardian of a child 13 to 17 years old, I think this is a great idea to get them started, even if you don't know much about investing. Like I said, it's never too late to learn, so learn right along with them. And if it seems like a good fit for your children and yourself, then open up that Fidelity Youth account and get your child started early. And don't forget to give yourself a raise. I'll see you next time. A few videos popped up to your left and right. If one of those perk your interest, give it a click.